Hello everybody. Our lesson for today is inverse variation. Uh, for the beginning, let me tell you that inverse variation is one of the most important application of the rational function and it has the form of y equals k times 1 over x in which x does not equals to 0 and k represents the constant of variation. So, inverse variation, it's a relationship between two values, x and y, such that when one of the values increases, the other value decreases proportionally. So, x increases, the y increases. And as I said, the k, it's the constant of variation. If we solve the equation for k, we'll get from here that k equals x times y. When there are the two values x and y, they are given in a table. To check if this table represents an inverse variation or not, all we have to do is to find the constant of variation, to find the k. We said that k equals x times y. So all we have to do is to calculate the product xy in, which, in each pair given in the table. If we will get the same product as we have it here, it means that the table represents an inverse variation. If the product xy, which means the k, constant of variation, it will be different, as you can see it here, it means that this table does not represent an inverse variation. So, in our book, on page 194, there is question 1. Determine if each table of values represents an inverse variation or not. So, the inverse variation is y equals k times 1 over x, which will read it y varies inversely with x. So, then all we have to do, I will take the first table, is to find the k, the constant of variation, which we said equals x times y for every single pair x, y here given. So, I will take the first one. And it will be 1 times 25.5. It's a 25.5. I will take the K2, which means the second pair, which it will be 2 times 12.75, which equals 25.5. I will find the K3 for the third pair, which equals 5 times 5.10, which is, it is 25.5. I will take the next one, so K4, 6 times 4.25, and let's see. 6 times 4.25, which it is equals 25.5. And the last one, K5, 15 times 1.70, which it is equals 25.5. As long the constant of variation it's the same. The conclusion is that the table A represents an inverse variation. Let's try it for table B. So K1 equals X 6.6 .6 times 3, which is 19.8. K2 5.5 times 5, which equals 27.5.
as long from the beginning we found that the constant of variation it is different, we can conclude that the second table does not represent an inverse variation. Question number two on the same page. In an inverse variation, x equals to 6 and y equals 1 over 2. So from the beginning, they tell us that there is an inverse variation. So then we are going to write the relationship, the equation between, which is y equals k times 1 over x. From here, we will substitute the y, it is given 1 over 2 equals k, the constant of variation is not known, 1 over the x is 6. We will solve the equation for k, so times 6 for everything, it will be 1 over 2 times 6, it's a 3 equals to k, so k, okay, the constant of variation, it is 3. Let's read the first question. What is the equation that represents the inverse variation? Already the equation, I wrote it. So because we know the k now, we can write y equals 3 times 1 over x. x changes, then y changes. x increases, y decreases proportionally. In question b, what is the value of y? So I go use this equation and I will write y equals 3 times. When x equals 15, we will substitute for x. So 1 over 15, simplify by 3, it will be y equals 1 over 5. When x equals to 15. Let's try more. Three, the amount of time it takes for an ice cube to melt varies inversely to the air temperature. So from here, I'm go, uh, we can write that time equals K times 1 over, because varies inversely, to the temperature in degrees. A 20 degrees Celsius, so 20 degrees represents the temperature, we can write temperature equals 20 degrees. The ice melts in 20 minutes, so the time is 20 minutes. Then we can substitute for time and temperature in the equation and we can solve for k. So the time is 20 minutes equals k times 1 over the given temperature it is 20. Solve for k. So we will do times 20 on both of the sides. It will be k equals to 40. So the relationship between the time and temperature it will be 40 times 1 over the temperature. How long it means we have to find the time? Will it take the ice to melt if the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius? So the temperature we will substitute into here. So we can go down and substitute time is 40 times 1 over the temperature 30 degrees simplify by 0 so time equals 4 over 3 which is 1.33 minutes. On a guitar, the string length S varies inversely with the frequency F. So from here we can write S equals K times 1 over F. So remember S 
represents the string length and f it's the frequency. The frequency of a 26 inch E string. So inch it's the unit to measure length. It means that the string length it is given 26 is 329.63 cycles per second. So the frequency is then we can substitute in here for the frequency. We can write string equals k times 1 over 329.63. Solve for k. It will be k equals 26 times 329.63. And k equals... 26 times 329.63, it will be equals 8,570.38. So the, the relationship between the string length and the frequency, it will be S equals 8,570.38. Times 1 over the frequency. What is the frequency when the string length is 13 inches? So the string length 13 inches equals 8570.38 times 1 over F. So all we have to do is to solve the equation for the F. So we will divide on both of the sides by 8570 to solve for F. It will be 13 over 8570.38 equals 1 over F. Use the cross product. It will be F equals Eight thousand five hundred seventy point thirty-eight divided by thirteen, which is six hundred fifty-nine point twenty-six cycles per second let's try more which is an equation for direct variation that includes the given data remember it that direct variation it is y equals k times x so from which k the constant of variation, it will be y over x. So that we can choose the correct answer, first of all, we have to find the constant of variation. We will choose the first uh, pair. We will choose the first pair of values. So k equals y, it is 10, over x it is 5 and from here we conclude that k it is 2 then we can write that y equals k is 2 so it will be 2x and the correct answer it is b the number of water bottles used during a team's football practice so let's say the number of water bottles I will use the variable W for it, or you can put B, varies directly with the temperature. 
and temperature I will use for it T. So from here we can write W equals and varies directly, take care, K times T, from which the K, the constant of variation is W over T. If a team uses 75 bottles, so the water bottles, 75. When the temperature is 60 degrees, so equals the constant, we don't know it, and the temperature is given 60. From here, K equals 75 over 60. What is the temperature? So we look for the temperature. If they use 120 bottles, so the number of the bottles, 120. So then we substitute again. We can say the number of the bottles, 120, equals the K, which we found it, 75 over 60, times the T temperature, and we will solve for T. So multiply both of the sides times the reciprocal, which is 60 over 75. So it will be T equals 120 times 60 over 75, which equals... Ninety-six, and these are we can write temperature is equals to ninety-six degrees. The number of miles m a car can travel varies directly with the amount of gas g. So we can write that m equals K times G. In its fuel tank, if K is the constant of variation, so already we use the symbol K, which equation represents the situation? So check all the multiple choices. The one which corresponds with our answer, it is B. Thank you.